Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're now delighted to be joined over the telephone by our guest, Dr. Mohammed Azem, our technology expert. Dr. Mohammed, a very good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon to you and your distinguished viewers. Thank you very much, Doctor, for your time. And let me start by asking you about Egypt's vision uh, for 2030, especially in the field of digital transformation. What do you see are some of the most important pointers in this regard, Doctor? Uh, actually, uh, if you look at every pillar within Egypt 2030 vision, you can find technology is there, yes. uh, innovation is there. Uh, because in the 21st century economy, you cannot progress, you cannot achieve your uh, objectives, your goals, you cannot create wealth unless you employ and create technology. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, especially the, the sector of the ICT sector by itself is leading the overall development in every uh, aspect related to the economy or the society. And the sector itself is uh, actually progressing at 17% growth rate, which is almost uh, five times uh, the growth rate of any other industrial sector. So mm -hmm. uh, this is the, one of the major sectors that uh, is considered as a locomotive for the overall development and, of course, of attracting investment as well. We've seen a lot of uh, uh, projects in this regard, so that including the Egypt uh, uh, Digital Egypt platform, uh, uh, having uh, the uh, availing the services uh, online for citizens and businesses, uh, and as well as establishing uh, electronic industry within Egypt uh, uh, and modernizing the uh, the ecosystem for trade and industry and uh, employing the, the force of this revolution in many factories that or industrial projects that are taking place now uh, in Egypt. So it's very comprehensive, it's very connected, mm. holistic uh, approach because technology is serving every uh, economic sector simply. Absolutely. Mohammed, now, as you mentioned, every segment of development now has, uh, you know, a digital side to it. How? Do you think, in your opinion, what is the most important achievement in Egypt in the field of digitization? And how do you see the economy benefiting from uh, this move towards digitization uh, of most sectors in society? Uh, actually, digitization or uh, digital transformation is considered by the Egyptian state as a matter of national security. Because mm -hmm. uh, without uh, having uh, ICT infrastructure, uh, without having uh, a sort of transition or transforming our businesses, our, our public offering uh, into a, a way that matches and suits the 21st century uh, demands and directions, uh, it would be very hard to realize any uh, objectives or any development goals. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we've seen that uh, and now we are, Egypt is modernizing its trade system, it's modernizing its industrial sector, it's modernizing its education system, the healthcare service sector, uh, and as well as they are opening doors for innovation, especially with a special focus on startups. So, and our startups are now attracting almost $1 billion US dollar as investment every year. Uh, and this number is actually doubling. Uh, if you compare it to the last year, it was like 500 uh, uh, billion only, and this year is almost one uh, trillion, one uh, uh, sorry, one billion US dollars, and last year was 500 million US mm -hmm. dollars. Uh, so uh, this uh, actually this how you form the economy, how you make it sustainable, how you make it resilient. Yes. Uh, I, I would recall here a, a report by the WHO indicated that. The countries who had a resilient and efficient ICT infrastructure uh, was able to recover or have uh, a swift recovery from the consequences of COVID-19, for mm -hmm. example. So mm -hmm. this how shows uh, how important the sector is. Absolutely. Dr. Mohammed, now Egypt has... Uh, you know, created a large number of smart cities and uh, there is a move towards uh, a full transition to a digital life in Egypt. How do you see this as benefiting, uh, you know, society and communities inside Egypt? Uh, by the way, digital cities or uh, smart cities or the fourth generation cities are mm. not becoming a luxurious item today mm -hmm. uh, because uh, uh, cities are aging like human beings, exactly. 
and the, the fourth industrial or the sorry the fourth generation uh, is, is, is becoming a mandate to cater uh, the, the pressure on the infrastructure and the pressure on the urbanization uh, and to deal with things in more efficient more sustainable way uh, because technology and uh, ICT by itself is becoming the key to this uh, kind of cities and so you're going to have a better life uh, quality for citizens, a better environment for businesses uh, as well as you are going to uh, have an efficient system to monitor uh, the, everything within the city when it comes to the infrastructure, when it comes uh, to the uh, services uh, provided by the government to the businesses or by the government to the uh, individuals uh, and you would be able to have efficient management of energy uh, this of course would save cost as well as minimize the impact of uh, the CO emissions so it's, it's becoming more sustainable uh, cities that adding value to the economy uh, to, to the national economy and of course this gives you a, a better image for the investment community all over the world that you are modernizing your infrastructure, you are having a state-of-the-art cities. Of course, this would give you a, a better uh, mental image about the climate of investment and the climate of doing business in Egypt. So mm -hmm. it's all connected. Uh, it's, uh, that's why digital transformation, it's a journey by itself. It's, it's, it's not something that you start and then you stop it. It's, it's always continuous effort, and you always you need to improve your infrastructure. You need to invest in more advanced technologies all the time. You need to modernize your economic system, your trade system, your healthcare right. system, education system, and so on. Absolutely right. So I'd like to thank you very, very much, Dr. Mohammed Azem, our technology expert. Thank you very much, sir, for your time and your insight. And another short break, and we'll be right back for more. Stay tuned.